اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا انما الخمر والمیسر والانساب والازلام رجس من عمل الشیطان فجتنبوه لعلکم تفلحون صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The ayah which I have read is from Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse number 90. Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who, whosoever, O ye who believe, innam al-khamru, indeed intoxicants, wal-maysiru, gambling, wal-ansabu, wal-azlamu, this idol worshipping or idol sacrificing altars or divination by arrows rijsum min amal shaitani all these kinds of work are the handy works or abominable works of the shaitan or satan fajatani buhu la'allakum tuflihun so stop it if you want to prosper this is the verdict which Allah mentioned in the Quran and kills the four ideas and mostly economical ones and other related to worshipping ones. These are the devils or Satan's handy work. So stop it if you want to prosper. Today the topic is four evil cardinal principles of the Western economical system. And Allah says in the Quran, the first two, which I'm going to mention, well, maysiru, well, this, uh, this intoxicants, one and the maysiru. Khamru, well, maysiru. These two things I'm going to explain to my viewers. So in Arabic, the word, the first word, but Allah says, well, khamru, khamru, well, maysiru. This al-khamar in Arabic is mean intoxicants, anything which makes you drunk or related to drugs, which can further be uh, expanded into the values of drugs, cocaine, and many other things. Number one and number two, maysir, the any kind of earning which is on the grounds of speculation which is number one, gambling or raffle tickets, etc. These two, the first two things I'm going to explain because the rest of things will cover in the other aspects. So these two are the shaitan, this is the abominable work of shaitan, Satan. So stop it if you want to be prosperous. And we can see the example in the West. Allah says 1400 years ago that this is the Satan's handiwork, Satan's handiwork, but human beings today don't listen and you can see what's happening in the West. We don't need to go far. Everything is very open in this age and technology and era we are living. Let me uh, tell you something that the problem in the West is not about Islamic rights and rituals. The problem is Islamic social, political, economic system, that this supremacy must not come on any means or on any ways. Islam, Islam supremacy will come to all other isms one day. Allah mentioned in the Quran. And that is the point, that is the problem where the West is vigilant and uh, they can't sleep well and thinking about Islam all the time. So we have two pictures of Islam now. Number one picture which the West shows that Islam is, you know, like a fundamentalist. Islam is the religion of extremists. Whereas this is not true. People are well enough, well educated, well actualized. And they can see this very vividly that this is a lie. This was a propaganda. And now this propaganda is coming back to them. This is not true. Islam is very peaceful religion and the things, the staged puppets you show and then you say this is the Muslims are doing, this is not true. You know that. You know that very well now. Things are gone from your hands. You are losing in every part. So, 
the first picture they show and the second picture of Islam which this you know <coughs> sweet simple terms these uh, scholars in Islam which talks about love 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 which I'm not saying this is not true <coughs> Islam preaches you love but Islam also preaches you many other things to make a just system not only love 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 and that is what the other pictures like sweet sweets uh, uh, like a soft kind of product what these Islamic products are showing to the West and those people are welcome in the West always so two, two things number one that these are extremists and number two promote those people in Islam the ulamas or whatsoever the people who are sweet and they talk about only love and they talk about how to just you know bow down to the western system and accept these all kind of ideologies are accepted anyways what Allah says in the Quran four evil cardinal principles in the west which Allah gave a sledgehammer 1400 years ago hold the western system if you've been there or if you study in the books it's the same thing the western system is the run by in, in the west the economical system all the system is running number one on the principles of intoxicants beer hard liquor soft liquor etc any kind of beverages related to liquor related to intoxicants are sold there and the, the billions the millions of dollars are being earned through it imbibing of alcohol number two gambling las vegas you can see casinos raffle tickets none the punching machines all the gambling and speculative money number two economic system running on number three which allah says in allah la ya'muru bil fahsha in chapter 7 verse number 28 that Allah does not command anything immodest, fash. So number three, they're running all these dirty things, libidos, earning money through immodesty and learning, earning money through all this dirty stuff. You know how they do it. To make people, young generation, stick on dirt. Stick on those lewd movies. And number four, interest, riba. Through the banking system, usually capital interest, uh, APRs, interest rates, either it is a, a social interest or it is a banking interest. Through the system of banks, just strangle their necks and show them the dreams. So these are the four evil cardinal principles and all these four cardinal principles have been debunked by Islam as a social political economic system as a deen 1400 years ago. Now you have the confrontation and that is why the West does not like Islamic deen but mazhab where the rites and rituals they have no problem even Hindus go there Jews go there but when the system comes against and confront the system of economic social and political is lumped up in totality then the problem comes. My lecture of mine is to educate Muslim brother, sister and the Western system that these four things which you are doing has brought you nothing. And you know that. You know that you are simmering in your soup and you are simmering more and more. The Islamic system which says that these are the four evil principles. If you accept that, you will be prosperous. If you do not, then choice is yours. You played with the fire. You paid the price. You're playing with the fire. You are paying the price. And if you will keep continuing this, you will pay the price in the future.